Gonna have a good day. Yeah, yeah. Smile, sweet summer. Sun shining on your face. Yeah. Smile, sweet summer. Oh, I love to see the smile on your face. I was preparing this moment. Today, sweet summer day. Sun shining on your face. Lips with the kiss of the sun. That's a sign you gotta gonna have a good day. I discovered your happy place. See the love all in your face. Sit back and cuddle in my arms. Relax, enjoy on this sweet day. We only got a couple of days. Saturday, Sunday, the Monday comes back around. Wanna spend some time away on the summer day, my love to feel your warm embrace. The skies don't rain me day. The sunny days are here to stay. The skies don't rain me day. Sweet summer. Stopping this season, man. On episode four so far, y'all. I'm doing it. I, I know to do 10. I don't know what I'm going to end this year, <laughs> but I'm doing it. Hey, y'all, man. Before we get started, man, I got to shout out, man, my local spotlight artist, Kenny J. Wilkins. That's what you hear at the beginning of the podcast, man. Yo, he, like I said, he's a he's a great singer, songwriter, producer. He's been doing it since the 90s. My man is really getting down, man. Yo, like I said, straight from the church, <laughs> straight from the church to the to the dance floor, man. Yo. I got a shout out my boy, man. Thank you so much, man. 
All right, so let's get started like I always do. Hey, random thought, man. So I'm in the point right now, man, where I'm I I I I said it on my on my first official show that I'm trying to get myself healthy this season, man. With well, this season, this, before the year's out, I gotta get myself healthy. You know what I'm saying? I I, I looked at my body the other day and said, God damn it, you don't let yourself go, Eric. You gotta get yourself together, man. And I was looking at it, I'm like, yo, I, I I seen my son. Both of my sons are football players. If you ever seen both of my sons, these are not no average small little like the 15, 17 year old. No. These ain't the, these ain't the kids that grew up in, in the 2000s where we had to be skinny and wear wear baggy clothes. No. These are some big bulky ass Negroes, man. And I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't be out of shape, man. One day gonna try to whoop my ass. And I can't sit back and let them whoop my ass. I gotta get myself together. You know, so I gotta I gotta do it together. And, and plus, man, my wife is she's a vegan. My wife is a vegan. She's up here working out every day. She looking good. You know what I'm saying? She, you know, she got a booty looking like it's supposed to look. I'm like I'm, I'm happy. I like like I see she looking good. I'm like I gotta get myself together too, man. Because I don't want to go somewhere and we take pictures and she guff and she she cuff my boob. I don't want that. That's what I don't want as a man. So I'm just saying I gotta figure out how to get myself together, body wise. I gotta figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out one day. But until then, Popeye's chicken got a, got a sale going on. All right, that's all my random thought, man. All right, so let's get into this episode today, man. And um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in my shows, man. My my TikTok has really been hitting. I'm happy. Um, yo, so this this week I'm telling everybody I'm doing a week worth of throwback uh, guests. Where I've had guests on my show from the past who really made a difference, who really uh made an impact on my show. And um, yo, man, this guest I got today, man, this is my brother, man, and I have to shout him out, man, Mr. Donnie Dobson. I'm gonna bring him in first. Then I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk my shit about him because he ain't worth shit, but he's still my boy. Bring him on in, man. Yo, give it up to my boy, Donnie. Donnie, what's happening? What up? What's up? Man? What's up with your late ass? What's going on, man? I ain't late, man. What are you talking about? Show started twenty minutes ago. And I was here 19 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Right. First day, first day, first. Man. I want you to introduce yourself, man, to the people who don't know you. Then we'll get started. Well, Donnie from Whatever Talk, the show where we make fun of reality. You know, I just like to talk the thoughts. The more taboo it is, the more I want to talk about it. And I just be wanting people to think about stuff. That's all. Just think. You ain't got to agree. I ain't trying to I ain't trying to argue. I just got thoughts and don't mind sharing them. <laughs> I got you. I got you. So, look, man, if y'all don't know, man, I'm going to give y'all a brief a brief recap of who Donnie is on my show. Donnie has been on maybe like five or six shows I had. Man. He was on the karaoke <laughs> night, but he, he didn't sing a goddamn thing. But it was fun. No, man. I had to dip out. <laughs> it was getting late. I was sleepy. I couldn't. I couldn't rock out with some uh, being half comatose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, so hold on. let me show y'all. Let me show clips of the last few times Donnie has been on my show. Let me go ahead and bring in my guest, man. Donnie, what's up, bro? What up, though? What's going on with you, man? Man, just living the podcast life, I guess. I don't even know what that is, but I'm living it because I do podcasts. I haven't been blinded by love. And I say that because, like, me and my wife, we we, we literally grew up together. Like, okay. like, not grew up from birth, but we've been together since the seventh grade. Straight up, seventh grade, and that's like that's, that's twenty five plus years, and been married for eleven. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, she creature in the back. Yeah, that too, because me being experienced, um, <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily want a sacrifice <laughs> virgin, as they say. God, I'm trying to figure out why everybody's crazy. Okay, we, That's we, because we, everybody <laughs> identify as whatever. That's why everybody. Why does crazy. that make them crazy? You want to see crazy? Have you ever met look, someone with multiple personality? I'm not to convey, I'm not to you know, crazy disorder. That, that's crazy. I'm just. I just told you why I was crazy at least about three, four times. I just told you why. Again, you can identify Ooh. all you want, but the fact that you actually believe that you are what you identify is ludicrous. That's what I'm saying. 
It's ludicrous. You believe that you're a dog. You believe you're a canine, but you can't do what canines do, though. I see a lot of motherfuckers on leashes, so you never know. Happening at the perfections and imperfections of reality. And we all make fun of this. But, Donnie, here's the thing. mm -hmm. Why does it matter? It's okay. It doesn't matter. But That's no, what I'm saying. But my it point is, matter, this is what, this is what the crazy pause. for identifying How, as a freaking dog. This, but this, this is, is what I need for magic. Dog. Before we get into this motherfucker. So like I was saying was, we got we to gotta hype it up, man. Because y'all done brought my... Donnie done made this shit a history lesson. And the shit got emotional. The <laughs> motherfucker, I'm going to be ready to cry. My glasses are falling fuck up. <laughs> Daddy, let me tell you something, man. Like, and I'm gonna be real with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you, man. Daddy, you gotta get the last. You gotta get the last word. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey yo, look, I didn't even like, it was it was other it was other clips. It was other it's clips not- I could have showed. <laughs> other- last words is not my intentions, but man, I just be thinking different, man. Man, I just again, I, I'm. I, I don't know. I don't want to say I am my thoughts. I think of it from another perspective. I, I do it a lot on purpose just because we don't talk. It's, it's the same conversation I hear all the time, and everybody got the same perspectives as people did back in the freaking 80s, 60s, and 50s, and all that journey. Nobody got different perspectives on anything. They just talk about the same perspectives that they parents. And intertwine that with like, hey, yeah, I agree with that. Okay, you agree with that, but let's talk about something different about that because everyone in this situation living the way that you're living, everybody else is living a different way, maybe having the same uh, situation but different. Scenarios. Let's talk about some other scenarios of the matter of the same matter. Right, right. And you know what? That was said. <laughs> It was episodes, man, and no, I want to bring you back for this episode is because I was like, yo, as much as Dottie, like, I love that Dottie give his own opinion on everything, but it was, it was shows Dottie said, you know what, man, you ain't going to change my fucking mind, and I'm going to say what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, and, and then I said, I said, yo, it was one episode, um, we did the, uh, I think it was the Battle of the Sex, and I brought you on, and yeah. you and, uh, <laughs> You and uh my, my homegirl um uh, savagely humble. We went back and forth on 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 being on being abused. And she like, well, it's it's nobody's business. It is somebody's business. If I can see the scar, I'm like, I'm like yeah, I was okay. <laughs> there you go. So, so I just want to get I, I, I say it away, man. I just want to get to you, man. Let's get like who you are, man. Cause I think people don't really know who you are outside of your podcast world. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got about, I ain't got that many subscribers, man. But I just I got enough for people to know who the fuck I am. So <laughs> what? So let everybody know a little bit about your background, man, because I do know that you're saying we all know that you and your wife been together for 250 years. And we some, we some hand <laughs> y'all, been, y'all, y'all been y'all been married for 125 of those 250. So uh, let everybody know a little bit about your uh, background, and we we'll talk about your podcast. My bad. We'll say it again. I said we'll let everybody know a little bit about your background, and we'll talk about your podcast. Sure, man. My background is father of two and married to the same woman of the two. <laughs> and, so uh, how did you I, go ahead? Oh, I go say I don't be doing nothing but uh podcast and then chilling with, with the fam when they feel like chilling with me. <laughs> Been a damn dad or something. This is it. But look. <laughs> How did you and uh, your, your homeboy Kevin get into uh, podcasting? Because I know we're ever talking to you and your you and your you and your best friend. Uh, it was originally Kevin wasn't he he wasn't here for the jump start. Mm-hmm. The original guy who was going to be a part of the show from the very beginning, but it was some time going by, and I was postponing it because he couldn't make it due to. So I just said, man, forget it. I ain't gonna wait on this nigga no more. <laughs> it was about it was about a year went by. I was like, man, I'm, just, I'm about to just do it. It was Terrence and this chick I met from the job I was at, who was the the original cast of whatever talk. And 
it is, you know, time go by and people uh, don't really realize how demanding the podcasting world is. <laughs> so, you know, they, you, I can't hear you. Oh, shoot. Is it my headphones? I can't hear nothing. Shoot. Can't hear nothing. Did I leave? I'm a... Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me say I'm going to leave and come back. Okay. Check my own stuff, y'all. Make sure I'm right. Yo. What's up, man? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yep, yep. I hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, man. Like I said, this is some nigga shit, and I and I, because I don't think people understand <laughs> being a podcaster. It gonna happen. Oh, <laughs> but uh, uh, unestablished as they say, podcaster. It's some work. Hold on, first of all, first of all, first of all, hold on, hold on, first of all, and I got sitting with two damn microphones, <laughs> <laughs> just in case the shit go down, man. So Betty was saying, man, like like you, you got started, like you got started, um. Uh, Podcasting, you say it wasn't Kevin wasn't part of the original lineup. Um, you had a, you had a girl, but she didn't. They was she didn't want to like do it because the the the, the dedication the it takes. Yeah, so it was just me and T for a minute. And then had a friend of ours, Stacy, came aboard. I had to have a female on the show, at least one. Well, I was hoping for two, and mm-hmm. yeah, but. Mm-hmm. I always wanted the females whenever they come. And uh, cause I'll be having all these questions, all my thoughts will be from all perspectives, but I like a a non male perspective as well. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, things again happen, hiatus, a, a bunch of life happened, then it came back with Kev and me and shoot, that happened, man. Like I, I originally started podcasting on a show called Trophy Horrors. It's a PlayStation News uh, show about PlayStation News. So, and then, yeah, I was like, shoot, I want to talk about other stuff. So, whatever talk was right. born. So, so with that said, man, um, like, like I know, so you got, you got whatever talking. You also got challenge your beliefs. Um. Mm-hmm. With both of those, like, like those, uh, they're both uh, based around religion. I'm trying to remember. I've been on both shows, but <laughs> they both. I mean, it's like we always talk about Adam and Eve or, or something. <laughs> but, uh, but we've been so is they both re- revolve around religion. Uh, whatever talk revolves around whatever. That's my okay. That's that's my flagship show that I think about the most. Even though I like well religion talk more. I like religion conversation mm-hmm. more. That's part of my favorite conversation. But mm-hmm. what is, I like I like to talk about whatever uh, as well. But uh, challenge our beliefs is just that's get to religion on that one. The reason why whatever talks becomes somewhat religion on an often basis because my one of my the human psyche is has its issues cornerstone from religion, like the cornerstone of humanity psychological issues is religion. That's the cornerstone of why we have these freaking issues that we have in the world. That's why a lot of it seems to come like a religious conversation, but that's not my sure. They don't, it don't all the time when they get to whatever talk, uh, on whatever talk, it just it just happens because 
the show, whatever talk, it, it goes with the flow of whatever it, it might have sparked that, sparked that thought. I'm like, hey, let me get that mm-hmm. out real quick. And uh, I didn't intend for it to be a conversation, but hey, you had something to say about it too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, so on whatever talk, man, and, and I love the fact that you open you open your show to any and everybody. Um, mm-hmm. over the at least one. At least well, one. I, 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 you don't want to. I talk to yeah. I talk to anybody at least once. Like if you were just a straight right. up nigga, I right, man, I ain't got time to be dealing with Joe. With Joe, I don't feel like being entertained by you right now. <laughs> Come on, hey yo. So over the course of the time, man, and especially like like especially with your uh your challenge your belief show, because I feel like that's gonna be your most controversial. Because you talk a lot, you 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 go in, you go in. Has anybody ever said anything that they kind of surprised you? And actually, that you said, hold on, sorry, you said that you were well, you were you was open to changing your own opinion. Yeah. Um. Has anybody ever said anything that actually made you change your own opinion about religion? Mm, nothing's made me change my opinions about religion yeah. at all. Not one thing. Not absolutely not I- one thing. <laughs> I, I tried, y'all. I really tried. I really tried. I, <laughs> I, but we could, but I continue to gain insight, which is be open right. to that thought. Like, mm, well, okay, yeah, okay. I still don't believe it, but I can get where that comes from, or I can get the idea of that idea, or have an understanding. You know what? That, but yeah. Well, no, I'm gonna say this right here. I remember it was a conversation me, you, and Kev had. Where we were talking the difference between um being religious and being spiritual. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that think, changed significantly too. That changed hey, see, I, from that episode. I, oh, for Kevin, for you. Uh, well, for me, like I have more <laughs> thoughts about that, about religion and spiritual since then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cause, cause, like, I'm gonna say, I think I, I thought I think I I might not have changed your mind, brother, but I think I had your ass on the rope. But we <laughs> See, and, and, come on. And, and I'm, I'm not even about trying to be on a rope. I'm just trying to have the have a conversation about it. It's just that I think I think I make people think about things radical that yeah. it comes off as malicious or something of, of some sort, oh. uh, or or I, I malicious either. But um. It just it's it's a wow like wow either they never thought of it actually or they're thinking about it now or, or like I never thought about it like that actually you know and it's like wow and I don't know how to how to uh, use the words but yeah I just think like I'm not afraid of my thoughts I like I like to think yeah. about stuff and I enjoy it. But you know what, man? I, I'm going to tell you this right here, bro. And, and like I said, I, I appreciate it. And sometimes like when it's on my show and you start arguing, I'm like, oh, shit, I got to figure out how to, how to roll, how to reel this shit in. <laughs> but, um, but no, I actually, I, actually, I actually like the fact that you have your own opinion and nobody nobody can actually change your mind on what you feel is right. Uh, and, and, and like I said, I appreciate that. Cause I appreciate you being honest. I feel like doing this podcast, everybody try to follow the same script. Everybody try mm-hmm. to follow the same like, like, path to everybody else. And, like you said, I love that you, like, look, I don't think that way. I'm going to say what the fuck is on my mind, and I'm going to tell you how I feel. I respect that, too, bro, because, you know, I feel like I'm in the same kind of lane. I'm not as controversial as you, but I feel like I'm in the same lane. So, next question, bro. Have you ever, have, has there been a guest on your show that made you, like, look, this shit is too much Nope. Nope, okay. it's not. One show... And I had a crackhead or a former crackhead on my channel to believe episode episode seven. It is titled right. This Nigga Here. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga here, boy. And uh, but no, because the reason that never happened because like I said, everybody at least a shot at conversation. You know, we already know everybody can handle conversation. And I'm talking about mm-hmm. actual conversation, like whatever talk, for example. Like I like, I like to look at it as a safe haven for conversation. Say what you want to say, how you want to say it. I take no offense to nothing. 
who look and or be stupid. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. we're all ignorant at the and in moments because we all don't know all the information. We're ignorant right, in right. this particular era. So mm-hmm. I'm not afraid of that. So that's why I say I'm not about debates and I'm not about arguments. You know, I I, I you enough to realize that you're being retarded right now. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that hey, hold said, on, hold on. You, you heard it, you heard the clip. Don't say that word. <laughs> Uh, exactly, and, and that'd be hilarious about that, Joe. Like, nigga, what you mean? I can't say that word. I could call you a nigga, but I can't say retarded. <laughs> like, uh, you know, what I'm saying? I, nah, I can't agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. It's like, you know, like niggas be censoring themselves on their own show. Like that's retarded. But anyway, going back, like when I when I choose conversation, like I trust this person is not intentionally. Trying to hurt me, you know, mm-hmm. with all conversations. Even even if, even if I know you, you might say something that I might. Oh, well, dang, that kind of like went. Wow, I, where that come from? Ask the question. Mm-hmm. What's, the, what's the point of getting all flipped out for when you already had your assumptions set on this nigga being a nigga? If he just meet your assumption, you're not surprised then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's like, mm-hmm. so, so it ain't no point for me to be getting mad or have any regrets because I'm aware that everybody is not the same. Right. Like right. again, I like to right. I like to use the example of like we just say everybody on the planet is growing at the same time. We're mm-hmm. all not growing emotionally in the same field at the same time. We're, we're right. forced to deal with idiocracy <laughs> this you you grew up or somebody allowed you to grow and come, or come to some senses so this person gotta have some time too right now this is a freaking idiot <laughs> give him some time <laughs> hey but you know what we know we know what i realized well, hold on you know what i realized though donnie i feel like yo we had we're podcast right we all podcast mm-hmm. we all trying to figure out we all got a big ass mouth. We all talking our shit. My thing is, I think we it, I, like hold on. I feel like podcasting is so vague that everybody feel like, oh, I got an opinion. So I'm just gonna say what mm-hmm. the fuck's on my mind. So I think yeah. that's why it comes off that way sometimes that people saying maybe some idiotic shit. But I think like it's just because people it's because we had a place now where everybody is able to hear to hear them say that idiotic shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I I hear what you're saying, but. I'm uh, nah to me with that one. <laughs> it's like, like we're yes, we all have an opinion. Yes, mm-hmm. we absolutely all have an opinion. Do I, but he comes the issue with society, and this is what society runs with: is that to get people believing, it, all you got to do is be confident. That's all you got to do. Be confident in what you say. And people confuse certainty with confidence. Mm. And that's okay. the issue. Like, you don't know more than you. No matter how much you deflect from you, you know mm. what, who you are. Therefore, you know that you're being, that what you're saying right now, you don't know but you being retardedly confident in yourself <laughs> because you know not retarded, you know, not retardedly know, confident. Yes, retardedly confident in being yourself because you know <laughs> that you don't know what the heck you're talking about, but you would rather argue than look dumb. Stupid. Like I said, mm. I don't mind looking stupid because mm-hmm. I probably don't know what the heck I'm talking about. But going off what I've read, and mm-hmm. going off the brain, and I know how to think. Like I don't, have, I, don't right. I have an opinion. I think I have an opinion about absolutely everything, even if I don't know nothing mm-hmm. about it. Why? Because I just think, you know, just think. Hey, I I don't know nothing about this, but given a little thought, it probably be like blah blah blah. Like, that's mm-hmm. what the heck the hypothesis is. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's, it's like. Just, it's, 
Yeah, it's an educated guess. Like I'm yeah, thinking a yep. little bit and then making my response. I'm saying it well, you know what? with confidence, well, you know, but I'm not certain about it. And that's the confusion well, you know, with people. But well, you know what, with me though, with me though, I always feel like, and, I, and I, I've been wrong on people's shows plenty of times. And, mm -hmm. but my thing is, I'm always willing to listen to the conversation and learn from the conversation. My thing is, when it comes to random thoughts with me, because you know, my shit is always random, is like, I'm, I'm gonna ask you a question based on what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and not, my, my stuff is not based <laughs> off my knowledge, because I don't know it. I don't fucking know it. If I don't know something, like, like I don't know, but I'm always giving you, I always ask questions based on what. Is the little bit I do know, or like listen to what you're saying? Because if you came yeah, back on what you're saying, yeah. I'm like, hey, maybe you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, yeah. that's the only thing I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, yo, ass, you just go, yeah. And, but, I, and I agree with that as well. But a lot of times, mm -hmm. like, I, I, I find myself doing this on and and I realize it it, it kind of works, but if you don't catch it too soon, they'll be like, oh, damn, it just left my mind. Just forget about it. Right. Like, it'd be like, you know, you're talking about things that's related to the subject, but you're trying to mm. think about what it is that you're actually wanting to say. But then, like, oh, okay, mm. okay, okay, I got it now. I was just doing a bunch of uh, talking while I was thinking about the process. Now, here it is. Like, this is what I really wanted to say now. Of doing that a lot, you know. <laughs> with, 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 with that, don't call me out like that man, on my show, man. Don't call me out like that on my own goddamn show, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? What you mean? You know, I wanted to say earlier about how you respond to what the other person respond on uh, says. Yeah. The comical thing about that that I hear on uh, often people don't listen to what it is that they're saying themselves. So when you respond to it, they like what the heck. <laughs> hmm. like, like I'm, just, I'm responding to it just not like, right right all right man so Donnie, give, it, give, it, give, it back, give it back to your shows man so Donnie, <laughs> what has been a really a challenging episode uh because i want people to know a little bit more what has been an episode for you you like this is like because that you you like me you jump off of one subject to like 20 other subjects but what has been mm -hmm. what has been a show that was very challenging for you? Um, and you say you say you know none of them just made you defeat or anything. But what's something that been really challenging for you to try to convey to your guests? The only show that's been challenging for me is not being able to record one. Mm. That's that's the only thing that's been challenging for me. Uh, all my shows go. Uh, fortunately. I haven't yet to have an argument, like per se, like on Challenge Our Beliefs, and it's and it's it's comical that I always relate to anything heated or coming from Challenge Our Beliefs, other than whatever talk, because it's it's, it's amusing to me that believers can spit out much somebody needs to be believing in God and Jesus and them, mm -hmm. but they can't have a conversation with anybody outside of another believer. And mm -hmm. thus where all the I guess you could say um irateness may come from is the China job. A lot of those once they actually Realize where I'm coming from, and realize that like, I'm trying to actually attack them. Like I'm just conversing on what you say. I'm responding to what you're saying to my question and all that type of stuff. And then mm -hmm. they come all like, oh, it'll right. die down slightly, down slightly. But other than that, like I, I'm expect, I'm I'm expecting some irateness from Chinese our beliefs because of what I just mm -hmm. said. Like they just can't talk to mm -hmm. anybody outside of another believer, but yet, how are you going to convert people if you don't talk to non believers? <laughs> so, I'm asking this right but, now. So, I'm asking this, Danny. I'm, hold on, I'm asking this real quick. Gotta, gotta jump on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This, one, cause I, this is a serious question, and, and I don't want nobody to take offense to it. What do you consider yourself? You can see yourself an atheist, you can see yourself a, like a person who's trying to figure it out. I know you don't follow a religion. 
So what do you consider yourself on the verge of if you believe in something or not? Do you believe there's a higher power? Do you believe there's just an energy? What do you believe? First, I consider myself what we call ourselves, a human being. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all I I don't consider myself uh, I, don't, I don't consider myself any titles. I'm just a human being who just like to think and converse about, you know, that's all. As far as re, uh, religion or whatever, I, I don't consider myself religious, nor but technically, if we want to get technical, I would be an atheist. But here's the thing about atheists is that atheists don't not just not believe that there's no God. They just lean towards it not being a God. That's all. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they don't like, hey, there's absolutely nothing. Like, mm-hmm. it, uh, we, we don't know that. That's where the that's where and confidence come into play. Like a lot of mm-hmm. people talk so much certainty about their beliefs, but to me, I see no certainty in what you're saying. That's why none of it has been able to alter my own thoughts on it. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, I, I myself religious because uh, what I just said, and I don't consider myself spiritual because I feel like spiritual is doing the exact same thing as what religion is doing. Picking your parts mm-hmm. out and <clears throat> Choosing to believe those parts. Basically, you're doing is that same thing as religion is leave this portion more so than this because I don't like that. Mm. That's what, that's what I, I get the same thing from spiritual. Right. Well, you know, also I, I think people gotta realize too, and I think a lot of people don't understand that there's a difference between being an atheist and a, a Satan. Um, there's a big difference. Because I think when a lot of people look at it, when you hear a person say they're atheist, they're like, oh, so you must believe in the devil. No, you don't believe in neither one. <laughs> but, but that's why I think a lot of I think a lot of people do get that confused, especially in, uh-huh. in, 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 in our black community. Because like I said, we were raised, like I said, Christianity and everything. So I do believe that a lot of people do believe there's a people don't know the difference between being an atheist and a Satanist. Uh in, in a what? You know? What was the last one? I said Satanist. I said I said like believe in Satanism. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're, I don't know much about the Satanism, but uh, from what I heard about them, yeah, they're they're different things. Like, cause again, you're still choosing to believe in a God if you're Satanist, because mm. <laughs> Satan is that's some wild ass shit for me now. <laughs> yeah. but, well, uh, you know, and the other another thing about that is like. It's amusing to me as well that you have to believe, period. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. if you don't believe in God, then you believe in the devil. If you don't mm-hmm. believe in, which is humorous to me because you can't believe in one. You can't be a Satanist believing in the devil and not believing that God don't exist. Like, makes sense. That makes sense. It, 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 it doesn't work. Yeah, you have to mm-hmm. believe in one that you believe in everything. And also, mm-hmm. to take it even further, I think if you believe in God, period, then how you don't believe in anything <laughs> because of the yep. certainty matter, the certainty issue mm-hmm. that comes into play that I like to talk about. What's your certainty on the matter? You believe in but you don't believe you can fly. Come mm-hmm. on, now. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. You should be. Then, you should be. <laughs> no, I feel like people that understand there's a difference between both of them. But I do think that, like you said, they do coincide with each other. You gotta, you gotta, mm-hmm. if you, you gotta know there's another one exists because they got, they actually in the same story. Um, so back to the trade. So I'm gonna jump off, I'm jump off your podcast a little bit, go into your personal life. Mm-hmm. Um, you yeah. do, do a little rapping, you do a little poetry. So how did you get into into, into your into? I've, I've been watching little poetry jams and stuff. How did you get into your your poetry jams? Yeah, my one of my friends died. 
That was the Say actual, you broke up. Bro. One of my friends died. Okay. And that was the uh, actual that hmm. The first one I ever wrote. I ain't get a chance to. Really hey, hold on a second. Just... Hold on. You, you just got real low all of a sudden. You just got real low. Oh, shoot. I don't know what to say. Am I low? I'm still low. Nigga. Yeah, you still low. All, all of a sudden, it just, you got really high, and all of a sudden, it went down low. It, 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 I can still hear you a little bit. I can still hear you a little bit. Oh, let's try this. Let me try this. Let me just say. All right. Say something, real Okay. Quick. All right, oh, there you, you go. Good. There you go. Perfect. Hold on, because that's a speakerphone. I know you don't want that. I don't care. It, it works for me. <laughs> Am I low? Uh, say, say again. Huh? All right, there you go. Am good, I low? Good, good, good. I guess I am low. All no, right, no, cool, no. cool. All right. I, I disconnected and put them back on. But uh, yeah, a friend of mine died. He uh um he was actually nicknamed the streets and mm. that was a poem and uh I didn't I I didn't really do anything else until like some time later I started getting into the Bible again and then I uh, I created the character Rebel Jesus and mm. start start doing what I do basically talking about what I talk about on the show, but just putting it in a rhythm form mm-hmm. <laughs> as the character uh, Rebel Jesus. I'm, and I will, it's basically my perspective on Christianity and what we get told about Christianity. And mm-hmm. yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I just put it, I started uh, writing the rhymes and I never was a rapper, but back in high school, we all thought we was hip hoppers. <laughs> so what happened Ooh. was <laughs> my my we used to uh, you know throw together some rhymes, but uh, he would give me the the course, and he say write so then I just write whatever course he gave me, and I just write verses for. Me and the crew, mm-hmm. and I, I was clever with wordplay. So, Rebel Jesus, hey man, <laughs> you know what? You caught me a little. I'm gonna tell you this: you sent me a friend request on my uh, on my Instagram a while back. I'm like, what the hell is this? At first, I thought, <laughs> so listen, listen, listen. I thought it was I thought it was a Mexican dude. Like, I thought it was Rebel Jesus. I like maybe something Rebel Jesus. Then took me a minute to realize. Then I looked at the the um the icon. I was like, "That gotta be Donnie." <laughs> uh, got to have to challenge our beliefs. They had to challenge our beliefs icon. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, but I, I, I so, take on a persona so. as Jesus, persona as Jesus, but as a rebel. So when I refer, refer yeah. to God, I don't refer to him as God. I refer to him as any variation of dad pops dad uh so and then i also created other characters within it too just lou is lucifer mm-hmm. wilson uh with my latest one i'm working on i'm giving wilson some play wilson is the holy spirit <laughs> okay how do you, you get wilson for the holy spirit because i think people who believe is crazy so, <laughs> I thought so. From the way everybody tells me, the hardcore believers who I had conversations with, you can't even start believing in until you ask for wisdom mm-hmm. to believe in God. So, basically, mm-hmm. that wisdom is supposed to be the Holy Spirit coming in you so you that what you feel like is feeling good. Therefore, I call him Wilson. Castaway Wilson. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I, got you. I hear what you're saying. All right. So look, man. <laughs> you, you be wild. I know. I know how you get. But 
Hey, yo, all right, so one more thing to talk about before we get to the end of this, man. Yo, you do a lot of your real random thoughts in your car, man. You know, I ain't going to say you stole my idea, but you stole my, you stole my idea. But <laughs> <laughs> so how did, you, how did you come up with doing your own original, like, whatever thoughts? Like, yo, you sit in the car, you sit in that work, and you just venting. How did that come up for you? I do whatever talking to myself came after whatever talk. It was the show first. Okay. Like I had, uh, I just wanted to talk about a whole bunch of crazy stuff because everybody else the same thing. Like even to this day, like I listen to a bunch of podcasts, but mm -hmm. I'm not a return listener to a lot of them because mm. you know I just hey I'm a podcaster too. I would like for somebody to hear what I got to say. Yeah, mm -hmm. but if you don't, cool. But I'll listen to it. But if I don't like it, you know, it's gonna be a return listener. But who you you doing your thing? <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, so I did, then it evolved to political into it, and now it's more so my thoughts even more so than ever now. It's mainly my thoughts, people's thoughts, and all that type of stuff that I do. So. Then whatever talking to myself is me doing more thinking than I already talked about. So basically, I'm just doing, doing some more thinking about it. Oh, I said this, but now I'm thinking about it like this point of view now. Like I had another conversation. It made me rethink what I said in the show. And whatever talking to myself is a video clip here. So yeah. basically, whatever talking to myself, and then... If I can get a show on whatever talk, we do more elaborating on mm -hmm. the show because, like I tell my son, I don't want to just live off your own thoughts all the time. Like you want to hear other people's opinion about even your own stuff because that's how you create a narcissist. See that because that's just retarded to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, but you know so. Cause like I said, you know, I do the same thing. I sit in my truck or my car, or whatever, and I and I just whatever comes to my mind. I like it's weird for me because when I drive, I, I think a lot, mm -hmm. and I don't know why. It just so that's why my random thoughts really just pops in my head in my car because it's easy yep, for me to yep. drive and like you know what, this is what's on my mind while I'm driving. So it could be yep. anything about me. You know, what I'm saying I had to take a shit today. Like I don't know what's going on, but I'm constipated. Like it comes in my mind. <laughs> Um, so though, so though I appreciate, though I appreciate watching your your web, your talking to yourself. I'm like, at first I was like, that might be a little crazy, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, uh, like, that's, man, one yo the best, so, that's one of the best studios. The car in your bathroom. <laughs> oh, you know what? Man? Hey, matter of fact, if you did if y'all did music back in the day, you know the bathroom was always your studio. <laughs> uh, yeah, hey, the bathroom, the bathroom yeah, was I, always. That's why I be doing the virtual. <laughs> yep. Best, light, right, best lighting too. <laughs> I'm always in my kitchen. My kitchen got the best lighting in the whole damn house. So I'm in here. Uh, All right, yo. So you know, and plus, plus, like I said earlier, I'm fat. I'm trying to get my shit together. So I'm in the kitchen. I can, I can interview y'all and interview y'all and drink something at the same time. But all right, look, man. You, you and your wife have been together for a total what 26 years, 27 years now. Uh, shoot, it's been it's been like thirty now or probably more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, well, y'all been together for the majority. Y'all been together for the majority of my life. Yeah, yeah I, I, majority, majority of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm asking a question, man. I know y'all had. I remember we talked about it on another show. Um, y'all ups and downs. Y'all had in y'all relationship. Mm -hmm. What has been what's, what's the key to keeping it lasting? What's the you you and I? What's the key to? I, yo, what's the key to keeping y'all relationship lasting this long? Y'all been married for a while. Y'all been together for a while. What's the uh, key to being being in a relationship, staying together this long? Acceptance. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that I think that's. That comes with the cliche bar answer. Um, that's the cliche answer is, as, or rather, should I say, um, communication, mm. <laughs> but mainly acceptance, acceptance first.
I say that with oh. it's about I say that with life period acceptance that is where your peace is this is with it's mm. in acceptance accepting of you first you accepting yourself mm-hmm. like I, I my theory I think we know ourselves already we just deflect mm-hmm. for whatever reason we choose to deflect for for ourselves mm-hmm. like it, it's not that really hard to uh, read a person but for some reason we get mad with that is us I don't know why we <laughs> I don't know why. I'm going to keep my comments to myself. My only me and my wife is deep this week. You're right. <laughs> but, but that being said, again, acceptance, though. Like, once you mm-hmm. accept that you are cool, mm-hmm. you won't be worrying about what anybody has to say about you at all if they're not saying it to you directly. Mm-hmm. All that he say, she say. Mm-hmm. Or any, if they're not saying it to you, then what's the point of having anything to say about it other than capping jokes or something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, right, right, right. Yeah, so forget about it. And, and then at that point, I think once you accept you, that's when you will start accepting the world for what they show you. Like, again, we all may be growing at the same time. But we all ain't growing in the same at the same time. So once you mm. realize again, like that's the, that's why I say no show has been bad. Like even with the right. the crackhead, no show has been bad because <laughs> the crackhead. Boy, I, I mean, <laughs> hey, I, that's what he said. <laughs> That's what he said. Hey, you know what? I know I have my you know I have my own I have my own share of crackheads, man. They did that was a, a <laughs> lifetime for me, but this crackheads in my life. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, but once you accept all that, then you are then you know niggas gonna nig, as we say. Niggas gonna and so nig. what's You're the right about that. so what's the point of getting mad when a nigga do a nigga thing? That's just energy being shit. wasted. Exactly. It's just, it's just energy being wasted for absolutely no reason. Yeah. Once all of that happens with the acceptance, then mm-hmm. in the midst of all that happening, then you right. accept your wife for mm. who she has become. Mm. Who she has that become. Part. Yeah, because... I think that's the part that's recognized as fast first is that we don't even realize that we grow. Like mm-hmm. we still forcefully stop trying to do something because of the age that we are. Oh, we ain't supposed to be doing this no more, even though I like doing this. So we are forcefully mm-hmm. trying to stop realizing like, hey, I've grown up, but I still like doing this. It's okay. I like it. It's I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, th- I think I think age got a big thing to do with it too, man. Because you can't be trying to smash your side no more this age. My <laughs> arthritis is gonna act up by the more. <laughs> but, <we> gotta... <laughs> but hey, if, if that makes you happy, if your partner accepts that about you or makes you not happy and right. a willing participant in making you happy, right. then. Right. That's you have to accept. That means it ain't on getting mad about that bull crap no more. And if it is mm-hmm. something that aggravates you, does it is it bad? <laughs> You're like, come on, just sit and think about it for a minute. Don't you do things that's aggravating too? So is this act that aggravating to where it gotta be? <laughs> you know, so you just basically would- in a nutshell. You start thinking with the other shoe on the foot, as as we like to mm. say. You actually start thinking about others is basically in a nutshell. <laughs> right. And I, and, I, and I appreciate that, man, because mm. like I said, because me and my wife, like I said, me and my wife have been together for eight years total, three years of marriage. And mm. like I said, I tell everybody, communication is key, but you got to also got to, one thing people got to understand too, you got to accept that a person got a view on you like you got on them. Like and mm-hmm. that's the thing that people don't understand too, because it, it it was hard for me to hear this, hear the criticism back when I was giving it to them. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I had to take it back. 
you know yeah. who you and are. that's that but that's, that would make you mad is that would make you mad is because you do know who you are. Like you know what I'm saying? That would make you mad, and you hoping that nobody else know who you are. So that would make you mad. But that's the tripped out part. That's that's the the part of the human psyche I was talking about before. Like why? Like when you think about that, that makes no sense that that would make it you does. mad. It don't make yeah. no sense why that would make you mad. Like, nigga, you care about the you don't know me mentality when you be calling other people out. That means you know them, right? You may be mm-hmm. wrong, but you be calling people out. Then when somebody right. call you out on something that you know you be doing, it's 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 mm-hmm. kind of like a um, I think we call it a guilty pleasure. Okay. Why this so? What's so guilty about it? If this what makes you happy, why are you caring about why do other people find what you what makes you happy? You know, I mean, I mean, I, I, another way of looking at it per se, like we, it's kind of it's kind of strange to me that we would do things to other people mm-hmm. in disconnecting from that being okay. But get mad when other people treat them, treat you in a way that you don't like to be treated. Mm-hmm. Like you, you know for a fact that this is a wrong thing for you to be doing. Like, why are you doing things that in treating people the way that you don't want to be treated? But then get mad when somebody treats a disrespectful way, per se. Right, but that's a narcissist. Though. That's that narcissist <laughs> behavior like we were talking about earlier. That's you being a narcissist mm-hmm. because at the same time, you want to be, you want your viewpoint to be viewed, but you can give a damn about somebody else. And then when it right. comes to you, you don't believe that you are what they describe you to be, but you, exactly. you, you so because you see yourself at a higher light. So I think that is that narcissist behavior that that forms in relationships that that, that mm-hmm. does eventually ruin it if you don't yep, take care yep. of it again. We. we yeah. From what we're disconnect from knowing right and wrong, just to justify what we want to do. Mm-hmm. Issue with other people, you know, don't like it. But you know right from wrong, Nick. Come on, mm-hmm. you know right. that you done to you. Else, given if put in a situation, you know you wouldn't like this done to you. So why would you live your life in that you think that it's okay? We disconnect from that for some reason. Yeah, but you know, that, but that's <laughs> but also I think they come with maturity and growth, brother. And I appreciate that you mm-hmm. actually talk about it. You talked because I know on the shows you talked about y'all past and you brought it up mm-hmm. into like little where y'all at now. And it does come mm-hmm. with time, it does come with healing, yeah. it does come trying to Reflect it on your on your behalf and what you're doing wrong. It does come with that and communication. And like I said, even mm-hmm. more than just communication, you gotta listen. That's part of communication. You gotta listen. Yep. As much as yep. you thought. All right, man. So I'm moving to the next move on to the last question I'm gonna ask you. Man, what do you see mm-hmm. for the what do you see for yourself in the future when it comes to your podcast, your poetry, anything on all your endeavors? What do you see for yourself, bro? See myself having one of the dopest podcasts ever, just because. You can talk how you want to talk. Once people get a, get rid of that um, that uh, that subconscious fear of conversation, mm-hmm. you know, the persona that we put on as we be keeping it real all the time, but yet you don't, you want to be scouted about the conversation ahead of time before you talk because. You want to know if it fits your beliefs or not? Like then, you you you're not ready for it. Yeah, you're not ready. You only waiting for. You only living by affirmations and recognition. That's how Mm -hmm. a lot of societal people live by. Like I just want the recognition. I don't need nobody having opposing thoughts against mine. I need to be talking to people who think like minded. Uh, uh, you're not ready then for a conversation. Yeah. Then. You just, you just, you just hear as another. Like I said, um, like I said earlier, we have all these. Like you said earlier, we have all these people yapping, yapping 
And I think they're just saying the exact same thing. That is, yep. I don't even think I don't even think people have perspectives on it. They just copy in other perspectives and say yeah, yeah. to that. And so <laughs> I, I think we all we all we all and, 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 I, and I, I'm I'm not gonna say I wasn't guilty of doing it too. I was guilty of too because you want to keep up with, with with the conversation. You want to keep up like with the See, with the momentum of the moment. But exactly. my thing is, well, I, mean, I had to <laughs> well, I had to learn too, man. And my thing is, I came into this game trying to be me, just me and me. I'm not trying to do anything else. Mm-hmm. I wasn't mm-hmm. trying to, and I had to pick. I had it took me a long time to figure out where I want my show to go and what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm always been, I always been me. Now I'm goofy, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I talk a little junk, yes. You know what I'm saying? Do people do my voice is my voice is very different and unique? Yes, I have a unique voice. But mm-hmm. I, I, I always always put my always put my own stuff out there for me. And I I, I was I would clown myself if I ever let you do it. So it doesn't yep. even matter. You know what I'm saying? I always try to keep it 100 percent aired and I'm country with it a little bit. Sometimes proper depends where I'm at. I'm just trying to be honest with it. So don't think with podcasting, it is a hard job. It is it, it's something that we we try to make it. If we try to make it easy like we want to, but at the same time, do yourself, do what, do what, be yourself and do what you want to do for your show. And mm-hmm. I, just, I, I don't like you said, Donnie. Don't try to be like everybody else, and don't try to fit everybody's, you know, what I'm saying top. Exactly. I got absolutely zero censorship on my show. I just censor mm-hmm. myself for whatever <laughs> platform that I may be uh, streaming on. It, it, mm-hmm. and, and that's the type of stuff I be talking about uh, to us for, and I be thinking about. Oh, are we on YouTube. We gotta stop monetize. They gonna cut our monetization. Like, then you're not really, you're not really about progressing the conversation. But pretty much, isn't that what conversation is for? Bringing awareness to something. Mm. But if you're not progressing well, in the conversation, then there's no awareness being brung. You, it's just a bunch of things where people can say the same thing now. That's all. That's all podcasting is. It's a bunch of avenues where people can say the same as that thing as the other. People. Don't keep up with current. But also, also <laughs> we had a place now where everybody, everybody want to get that shocking moment. That's going to. Uh, you know, that's you know what I'm saying? We got to say, or we're going to say the most off the wall. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do this right here too, Donnie. Cause I, I might break up that. I'm doing a. Um, I'm doing a. Uh, a fake. Uh, a fake shocking episode. Like I want everybody to just, like say some of the most shocking stuff you can say. Because I feel like that's what everybody want to do. Everybody want to say some of the most off the wall, shocking stuff you can say. But you know what? You know what? I'm down for that. That's a nice challenge because everybody want to say the most shocking thing, but at the same time, they don't want to talk what they're saying. They just want to say it, that recognition and affirmation, but they don't want to converse about it. And that's yep. the most hilarious part about it. So we said some shocking things, and I hope conversation come about it because uh, the, the first episode with Toy, mm-hmm. the the disconnection with slavery and pets, mm. and the word pet is in telling that it's a slave. So our animals that we have, they're slaves. Now, I even, but I, even, I don't think we're doing it intentionally. I don't think, and I don't even think we're treating them like slaves either. But well, when you think about you got it, a master, you got a, you got a map because you're known as that pet's master. So, no, that's what we give ourselves. We title ourselves the pet's master. The pet don't say, "Hey, I'm master," but Hold on, hold on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Hey, Rocco. <laughs> but at the same time, I mean, I don't think we're intentionally, and I don't think that we're actually treating them like slave. It just, when you think about it again from another perspective, pets are you beating them when they do something wrong. You, you, you feed them. <laughs> and when you feel like it, <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, but I, but we do like just 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 that alone. I mean, I just like come. Oh yeah, gonna be, be I, 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 I would love, I would love, I would love to bring you on there for that episode. But also, hold on, yeah. before I end on that, 
I said that. Would you say the same thing for kids? Then? We said it for your for, for kids. You, you said one more time. Would you say the same thing pertaining to kids? To your yeah, children? Kids. Oh, um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I, I talked about um, um, like in kids. Like I think we instilled entitlement in kids unintentionally, and mm -hmm. that's why kids think the way they think. Like, no matter how poor you are, you still have an entitlement as a kid for some reason. Mm. And I, but I think we do that unintentionally in them. But for kids, uh, again, we're not intentionally treating them like slaves. But because here's the thing about kids we're, as humans, we're not inborn with instincts. Like animals are. Animals are born with, to get out of this situation right now that they're in. You know, mm -hmm. in a in a minute, it's about to go down in a minute because mm -hmm. they after us. Animals are mm -hmm. kids, humans, we gotta be taught our skill, we gotta be taught skills which inherently become You know, so, so I don't think we're okay. like slaves, but without how many kids go up to be in the two digits of age without a human, without an adult okay. doing anything. Right, 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 right. I got you. All right, man. So I'm gonna end it very quick, man. Uh, yeah. I appreciate. First, I want to preach. I want to appreciate you being on the show, Daddy, man. Because this, oh man, I'm real good for you, me, man. Hey, yo, man, I, wanted, I really want this episode about people who really make a difference in my podcast, bro. And you definitely made a difference in my podcast, whether you know it or not. You know, so I, I always want to give my fellow podcasters their flowers and stuff, man. Thank you so much. Because this shit ain't easy. This shit ain't easy. Mm -hmm. and, um, like I said, I want to give you your flowers, bro. And uh, thank you for always coming on my show, talking shit, arguing with any female that want to say something against you. <laughs> well, until they learn to stay in their place, then, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, again, like I said, it's clips. I, it's, there are clips that I was like, when I was going through to make this video, like, it's clips. I, like, I didn't put all the clips in this name video. <laughs> but, but yeah, man. Yo, but yo, I want to thank you so much. Man. Hey, before we go, let play a quick game with you, man. If you don't mind, five questions. Absolutely. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, man. So you've been, you and your wife been together, you said over 25,000 years. And. Mm -hmm. um, so I think nobody know you know her like you said you know yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. question is who is who is more? The question is called who is more. I'm gonna ask you five questions. You let me know if it's you or is it your wife. I wish she was. I wish she could play, but no, she probably had on her business. Uh, yeah, she out of the house right now. It's just me. I know. I know. So let's so, 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 This show gonna be played back again tonight. I'm gonna play the show again tonight around like seven o'clock. You let her watch. Uh, but I want to know uh -huh. who is. <laughs> All right, so I'm asking five questions. You tell me, is it you or is it your wife? All right. Yep. Who is most? Who is more likely to forget where they put their keys? <laughs> my wife. All right. In my in my house is definitely me. It's definitely me. <laughs> nah, you know what? It, it's it's me. It must be in my pockets, and I be patting them down, and still, yeah. <laughs> it's just me. Dude, let me tell you, man. I, I come home one day. I throw my keys on my table by my on the coffee table by my door, and one day it fell mm. on the floor. I looked all through my house. It was just right up under the table. And I told my <laughs> house that. <laughs> all right. Who is most likely to get lost while driving? Me. <laughs> you. <laughs> all right. Me. I'm gonna say this. I would. I would. I would put the camera on them, but I ain't gonna say it out loud. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> oh, of course. Who is most likely? Who's most likely to leave the lights on? Hmm. But I guess I gotta choose one, so I go with me since she's a freaking uh nocturnal. <laughs> Everything. All right. All right. Um. Uh... Who's the most likely to lose track of time? I already know who it is. I already know who it is. 
I just want with you, bro. <laughs> nah. we got you. All right. Like, I'm okay. on time on the shows all the time. <laughs> Not, I, I, I ain't going to say it today. Anyway, man. <laughs> last, last one, man. Who is the messy one? I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I, I wanted to hear that part. She's the messy one. I got you. Uh, I would go with. I'm gonna go with she. she. I'm gonna I'm 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 say us. I'm gonna say us, but she's the you and the us. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, hey man, thank you so much, Donnie, man. Thank you so much. Hey yo, shout out where we can find you and your podcast, bro. You find me on Facebook or go and whatever talk. We're on the first page somewhere. Um, I ain't gonna say <laughs> the, the first page. top three, uh, yeah, but we on the first page somewhere. Whatever talk. I believe I the same thing. We on the first page somewhere. Uh, you, you if, if you down of if you down for some actual conversation, if you down to actually think about something, reach out, reach out. That's all you gotta do. Just reach out. We talk about uh, any and everything. Yeah, I got, I got, I got a guy. Uh, I think I sent you before. I think y'all two be great on the show. Um, but all right, so let me go ahead and do my little, my little spiel. Do my little spiel. Hey, yo, man, this your little big brother, Eric G, man. I want to thank my boy, Donnie, Donathan Dobson, <laughs> yo, from Whatever Talk, a.k.a. Rebel Jesus. Hey, yo, matter of fact, if y'all got a, y'all, if y'all want to have a great conversation about religion, about what your viewpoint is versus his viewpoint, maybe you can change his mind. Lord, I, Lord knows I try. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, yo, check him out, man, on Whatever Talk. It's on all platforms. That's Whatever Talk. Check him out on, on, on his, uh, on, on, on social media at Donathan Dobson. And um and check him out him talking to himself all the time. But uh anyway, like I said, this is your little bit brother Eric G. Man, I want to thank everybody for tuning in, everybody liking. Uh man, you can catch this episode plus many more on my YouTube channel. We're trying to get the YouTube the YouTube numbers up. I'm trying to get those numbers up, man. Please like and subscribe. Look, I'm tired of being broke. Okay. What as my wife would say, in between blessings. I need, I need, I need to you to up, okay? All right, so please check me out on YouTube. That's Random Thoughts with Eric G. On all platforms at Random Thoughts with Eric G. On Instagram at Random Thoughts, well, out the S, with Eric G. And on Facebook at Eric Green, Flash the Green Rose Foundation, which is my organization. I want to thank my boy Donnie right here. And uh, y'all, man, like I always say, God bless you. Peace. Peace out. Uh... do my little thing real quick. In the world that spins around, full of the noise without a bound, there's a voice that's calling me. It's Eric G with thoughts to keep.